Hey everyone, welcome to another Ray's Way of Doing Things with Elune. We're here to show you Proto 11. Now, let's just go into his index and see what he does now that he's not stunnable or paralyzed. So, on his first turn, he does PTM 600 Heavy Machine Gun. This is an AoE attack that bleeds, and you want your defenses up with Weiwei's Special, for example. And that way you're able to survive and heal at the same time. On his second turn, he will use PTC9 Mortar on your highest damage dealer, which will be my Balder, and he will inflict physical effects for stun. On his third turn, he'll use PTX260 Electromatic Gun, and this will paralyze your healer support depending on what you have. For me, it's going to be Trent, which will be my healer. And on his fourth turn, he will actually use Overlord. And before he uses Overlord, he uses PTF8000 Flame Bomb, and this will deal a lot of damage and causes Blaze for two turns, deals increased damage by 50% to enemies afflicted with a gunshot wound. Now, he will also use his PTM600 Heavy Machine Gun after he uses that ability. And so that's two AoE abilities that you want to have a lot of defenses for, a lot of HP, or a lot of heals resistance. So you're able to actually survive that. And when he is in overload, he will summon these mecha golems and he will take increased damage by 50%. Now, on his regular turns, after he uses his AoE ability, he will summon these Metal Eaters. Now they will have the ability to Howl, that reduces your attack by 80%. And that's really annoying. And the Mecha Golems, they do 80% of their max HP soul damage to all enemies, so you want them dead. So for his passive, is really annoying, but it's doable. When an enemy casts a buff, copies that buff for self-use. Now, what this means is that whatever buffs you're going to use, whether it be Weiwei's Heal, Weiwei's Ultimate, or Cartia's Ultimate for increased attack, he will copy that buff onto himself. And unless you stop it, there's no way to stop it. He will, he will just keep copying unless you have... A curse which is despair despair allows you to curse them allowing him unable to gain buffs as well as heal now for phase one it goes in tome to 25 percent when 25 percent reaches phase two begins his self-destructs begins channeling for two turns to mean to disrupt set effects during channeling when channeling and self-destructs to instantly kill all enemies and he also summons a mecha golem twice for uh kamikaze rush so you need to kill those two golems as well and after you do that you know he'll be dead he only has 25 percent hp it's not that hard right guys <laughs> anyways so let's just talk about our team and what potions we're going to use first it's going to be the crit power rate for 25 percent and crit rate for eight percent that's the uh, main ones we're going to use now we're going to use our salad in the back line for one reason she does a lot of damage passively. She does increase Salad's attack damage by amount equivalent to target's physical resist rate. So she's not lacking damage at all. She's able to AoE the, the adds if she wants to by herself and she goes on a rampage. Now this is how I have her geared at the moment. Uh, she has the raw attack from the drum and raw attack from the boots. And she gains increased crit as well as crit power when the enemy is less than 50%. But if honestly, we could just change it up a little bit. But she is single target, and that's how she's going to roll. Now, for our Pokemon Pepe, this main important thing you want to have for Proto, I evolved mine from 4 star. 18 C's is completely worth it. Mainly because her 6 star Endless Curse. When Afflicted attacking an target enemy with afflicted one or more curse resets curse effects that have less than two turns remain back to tier. So what this means is when you use your demonic impact, same for five percent chance the curse that causes despair, you're able to keep that despair up the whole entire fight as long as she is alive. Now for the set we have for her is three piece moon set with as much damage as possible and as much speed as possible to 
be able to go second because once she's able to go second, she's able to use her ultimate on turn two right after Weiwei Wei, um, is able to go. And we use Trent mainly because of his healing ability, Earth's Blessing, able to give your whole entire team immunity against debuffs for two turns. This is the only reason why I use him because he makes the fight so much easier. And as you know, Balder, he is able to gain increased attack as well as crit rate for his passes when he attacking an enemy with blaze. He also does 50% soul damage attacking an enemy with crit that has blaze. So that's a big reason why you want to use him. As well as when he ultimates and kills an ad, he is able to get that free ultimate and attack onto the boss. That's how we're going to play it for this. And let's just uh, jump right into it. Now, let's just hope we uh, get that despair up, because if we don't get the despair up on the second turn, it's a reset. And it's going to be really sad because that's 21 uh, you know, Aeons each time. But I really use 21 Aeons over 7 and waste all those potions. Because potions are expensive. There we go. As you can see, I'm able to heal off from just that attack. And, yeah, we're actually just going to auto-attack. It's alright. I have enough uh, HP for uh, Balder. Now let's just uh, pray that we actually get that Despair off. And we do! As you guys see, Despair is for 4 turns, cannot be healed or receives buffs. Now we can actually give our whole entire team buffs. And it doesn't matter. Let's see, I'm just going to single target attack, and then I am going to just auto attack. That way when Wei Wei gets a turn, she's able to uh, use her ultimate for the team. And now that we actually have the way we want it, we're just going to swap over and just give Balder turn advancement for uh, setting up for the next phase. Now we're gonna AoE heal again so that we uh, don't have to mishap anything. And we're gonna keep attacking with uh, Sally because there's a lot of single target damage. Dang. Um. Nope, we're just gonna uh, leave it there. Because if we heal. Actually, let's just uh, swap over to Sally. Just single target attack. There we go. Now, now we're good. Well, now we're golden. This is how I wanted it. Alright, refresh your uh, AoE heals because the next uh, big attack is uh, gonna hit hard. I'm gonna have to refresh uh, this as well. I don't need to refresh that. There we go. Now, what we're gonna do actually is just take out the whole entire Golem was by himself, uh, with just Sally's ultimate. There we go. Alright, I targeted the middle boss, but apparently it does not matter at all. So we're just gonna use Baldur's ult. So Sally's so amazing because she's able to just clear out the whole entire, um, golems just with her ultimate ability. And she gets a free attack. Now we can refresh everything. There we go. More damage. And hopefully you keep blazing him. Nope. Oh well. We got so many turns though, but it's okay. That's just how it works. Because of uh, how much speed I have. 
Now we're just going to see all target attack. That way we don't have to worry about anything. There we go. Alright, we're gonna uh, swap over to Balder. And AoE. That way we don't have to worry at all um, how the next uh, phase is gonna be. This is going pretty smoothly, so I'm quite happy about it. And refresh that heal. Alright, I guess uh, I get to go again. Let's see... Yeah, we just keep trying to blaze them, because I need blaze for three turns. Dang, even a resist. How are you gonna do me like that, man? Refresh that curse. Keep punishing him. Refresh that ultimate, and refresh heals. Because he is getting really close to that 25% rate, so you want to uh, make sure you actually have it. Alright, let's see. How are we going to do this? Gotta make sure the curse is up, otherwise it's uh, going to be insanely hard. To actually kill him. It's like I'm trying to get increased damage. Or am I just being greedy? Uh, let's just go for it. Yeah, because if we attack with Sally right now, it's gonna... Um be pretty bad, yeah. As you can see. It's already uh, pretty close. So, might as well just ult. <laughs> There's no other chance uh, to actually get that going. Refresh that curse. And now you can just focus boss. Um, after you kill the adds, of course. Alright, I get a full freaking uh, turn right here. And I'm just going to focus on single target abilities. As much as possible. There we go. Get those ads out of the way. Hey, dang, she hits so hard, just, uh, saying. <laughs> but, so, yeah, so that's, uh, pretty much how you, uh, do, uh, Proto Stage 11. You just gotta focus that Curse Refresh. And, and as you can see, we're able to just fully kill it. There we go, end it with a bang. <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Uh, know that there are rare units out there that can actually help. And I hope you guys liked how my Sally did. And let's uh, go check out the report. Oh, we got two helmets there. Look at that, DPS and support. All right, well, we're gonna build those after this. So let's just go to the report and see how we all did. As you can see, Sally is not that far behind Balder. And she is well above um, Popo and Pepe, even though she's physical and Proto has more physical de uh, defenses, Sally is able to keep up because of her passives. And if you guys have plus five Sally's, you guys should be clearing this no problem. Only mine's a plus zero, and she's doing as much as Balder almost. Only 136,000 difference. So if you guys like it, you know, feel free to like, subscribe, and uh, please uh, share with the newer players so they can actually, sh you know, show off their rare units. Because I bet you a lot of them have them. 
All right, guys, uh, until next time, I'll be working on 12. See you. There we go.